C. Sketch negative square root x. As we know, the input of any square root function is always greater or equal to 0. We can pick x equal to 0, 1, 4, 9. Any perfect square numbers will do. Add in x equals to 0 into negative square root x gives us negative square root 0, which is also 0. Add in x equals to 1 into negative set x gives us negative square root 1, which is equal to negative 1. Add in x equal to 4 and 9 respectively into negative square root of x gives us negative 2 and negative 3. Now, plot these points and sketch the graph. Plotting 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 4, negative 2, and 9, negative 3. Then, draw a smooth curve to connect all these points. The domain of negative square root x is from 0 to positive infinity. How about the range? The negative symbol before set x indicates this is a decreasing function. Therefore, the range is from 0 to negative infinity. D. Sketch negative square root of negative x. This function is defined for negative x greater equal 0. Implies x is always equal to 0 or less than 0. We can pick few x that satisfy this range. x equal to 0, negative 1, negative 4, and negative 9. The corresponding output for each x is 0, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Plot these points and sketch the curve. Plot 0, 0, negative 1, negative 1, negative 4, negative 2, and negative 9, negative 3. Then, draw a smooth curve passes through all these points. The domain for this function is all the real numbers that less than or equal to 0. The negative sign before the square root indicates this is a decreasing function. Therefore, the range of negative square root of negative x is from negative infinity to 0.